हेलो लर्नर्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ इफेक्टिव मेथड्स ऑफ टीचिंग एंड लर्निंग वेल वी विल स्टार्ट विद इफेक्टिव टीचर व्हाट इज एन इफेक्टिव टीचर एन इफेक्टिव टीचर मींस दैट अ पर्सन कैन रिलेट एंड कम्युनिकेट टू द स्टूडेंट्स इन अ पॉजिटिव वे एंड फॉर दिस ए टीचर वांट्स इफेक्टिव मैथड्स ऑफ टीचिंग एंड लर्निंग वट इज इफेक्टिव टीचिंग effective teaching is the design goal of every teacher in effective teaching the teacher uses certain approaches and methods to help the student learn and flourish now we come on teaching methods what are teaching methods the term teaching methods refers to the general principles pedagogy and management strategies used for classroom instructions your choice of teaching method depends on what fits you and your educational philosophy classroom demographic subject areas and school mission statement what are characteristics of an effective methods of teaching and learning effective methods creates interest in children so that they will participate actively in the teaching learning process and can continue to learn more effective methods matches the mental ability and needs of the students these methods also gives emphasis on students experiences effective methods provides a scope for peer learning provides a scope for learning something by doing encourages students to think independently and construct knowledge of their own effective methods also develops creative thinkings of the children these methods also provide a scope for development of life skills in children these methods are flexible that is instead of following a single method for teaching of all the topics different methods may be followed during the teaching learning process these methods are also inexpensive now we discuss about the classification of methods there are various methods of teaching and learning on the basis of role of the teacher and the student in the teaching learning process the methods can be classified into two major categories and these categories are first one is instruction methods and second one is student friendly methods we start with instructional methods we all have experience about instructional methods as very often we teach or instruct the student in the class these methods are very common to us sometimes we explain facts concepts theories and principles sometimes we explain with demonstration of certain pictures charts models and experiments and sometimes instruct our students to perform some activities like respond verbally or in writing to question we pose to them in these method as a teacher we are more active in teaching and instructing while the students are more passive and acting in a limited way only when they are directed by us some of the examples of instruction methods are first one is lecture method second inductive directive method third one is discussion method and fourth one is demonstration method now we discuss about one by one these methods first one is lecture method lecture method is a teaching method which the presenter or the teacher teaches orally to a group of class participants lectures are used to convey critical information theories and enquiries what are the characteristics of lecture methods the teacher instructs or gives lecture on a topic for almost the complete time in the period it means in lecture methods teacher gives lecture on a topic the teacher provides information concepts facts events theories laws principles etc sometimes he or she uses blackboard during his or her lecture and asks questions to the students students are passive learners in lecture methods their activity during the lecture period is taking notes and responding to the questions of the teacher within a single period the teacher may present more information than students can absorb teacher present the subject matter at his own speed content is presented as a whole and the students learn through listening and memorization 
this method can be successfully used in imparting factual information, explaining the theoretical points which cannot be demonstrated, summarizing and recapitulating certain topics, etc. in higher classes. But this method seems to be not relevant for teachers and students of elementary classes, means primary level. Next one is demonstration method. In demonstration method, it is a teacher centered method as teacher demonstrate the picture in these charts, models, experiments and explains the principles, concepts involved demonstrated material or processes. The student observe the demonstration shown by the teacher and some of them participate in answering the questions asked by the teacher and draw conclusions. Characteristics of demonstration methods are in demonstration method we plan, first step is planning, then introduction, then demonstration, then we use blackboard and final is concepts compilation. And next method is inductive and deductive method. In this method, the teacher uses the established formula, principles or generalizations to solve the problem. The students proceed from general to particular, from abstract to concrete. In these words, the fact are deductive or analyzed by the application of established formula. Hence, the formula is accepted by the student as duly established fact. Characteristics of inductive and deductive methods of teaching are Induction method leads the student to draw conclusion after generalize the relations observed in the concrete events or objects or statements. Whether the conclusion drawn through induction is correct or valid cannot be verified by employing induction again. Rather, it can only be ascertained by deduction. Through induction, you help your students to discover the relationships or new concepts and through deduction, you help them to verify the truth of the discovered relationship or concepts. Thus, for effective learning, both the methods should be used together as one is not complete without the other. Second, our topic is students friendly methods. In training programs, the emphasis is given on the child centered teaching learning processes which intend to develop skills and abilities in individual or self learning and problem solving in the students. In these methods, the students learn by solving some real problems they confront in their day to day life. The teacher's role is to create a situation in which a problem may develop and help the students to identify issues, come up with tentative solutions, try those solutions and come out with the best possible solutions to the problem. Playway, project, problem solving and discovery methods are some examples of student friendly methods. Let us discuss these methods in detail. First one is Playway method. Playway is a means of subjective and emotional development of the child that is development in terms of intellect, skills and feelings. Playway methods is structured on activity based learning. It encourages creative skills and self expressions. Playing is the predominant factor in this method. Now, what are the characteristics of playway method? Playing games is a natural instinct with the young children. They not only participate in the game spontaneously, given freedom, they can organize the game effectively. Children can create new game, they devise the rules for playing the game and observe strictly the self-created disciplines. This helps to nurture the creative skill of children along with the development of several life skills like problem solving, leadership, rational thinking, self-expression, communication skills, cooperative learning, group living, etc. Learning becomes natural in playway method, joyful and energizing experiencing. 
it provides sufficient scope to the children to fulfill their physical emotional and cognitive needs it helps to build healthy student teacher and student student relationships now our next method is project method a project method is an educational method where students working individually or in small groups analyze and develop real life problem or tackle a present day theme within a present time limit working independently and with the division of task clearly defined now we discuss about characteristics of project method the project method has different characteristics like first one is problematic every project is intended to solve at least one problem which is perceived by the students next objective the success of project method lies in the students understanding of its objective activity student begin to learn through self planning group discussion and group activities next characteristic of this method is reality it is necessary to create real life activities for effective learning liberty in project method learning take place naturally so students perform activities freely utility the learned knowledge must be useful to the students in their present life integration the basic requirement is to integrate the knowledge of many subject appropriately for successful completion of the project now we come on discovery method this method is otherwise known as heuristic method the word heuristic is derived from the greek word heuristika which means to find out it is also known as the inquiry method because in this method we found new things discovery methods definition according to professor henry edward armstrong who introduced this method for teaching science they say heuristic method is a method of teaching which involves our placing of children as far as possible in the attitude of a discoverer it is a method in which children discover and find things by themselves they are placed in the position of discoverers or inventors you need to involve your student in finding out the solution to a problem by themselves instead of telling or lecturing them the students are expected to take observations and conduct experiments as per the instructions conclusions are drawn by the students and hence they are introduced to reasoning skills from their own observation and experiments following are the stages of discovery method first one in discovery method we identify a problem then experimentation and observation of that problem then problem solving and last one is evaluation in last we evaluate the problem and what are the characteristics of discovery methods a problem with its objective mentioned clearly is assigned to the class and each child is made to feel responsible for finding out something for himself or herself each child tries to acquire information about the problem from different sources he or she is free to go about and discuss the problem with the classmates and teacher help is provided whenever the student feels the need however the teacher should try to get everything out of the students by inductive methods as many questions as possible should be allowed to arise from child's own observation and at times the teacher should also put questions which will stimulate the pupils to know about more a particular problem the students can see guidance from the teacher in this way the power of observation experimentation reasoning etc are developed in the students they learn how to gather data interpret data formulate tentative solution and to arrive at desired conclusions these methods can be applied where the children have to find out a cause now let's sum up what we discuss about methods in our topic methods are the ways of teaching 
effective learning of children depends on methods the teacher adopts the methods of learning and teaching can be of two types first one instruction methods and students friendly methods instructional methods are mostly teacher directed whereas the student friendly methods are dominantly student centric lecture demonstration and induction deductions are some of the examples of instructional method playway project problem solving and discovery are some of the examples of student friendly methods in the lecture method the teacher explained facts informations concepts laws etc at his own pace there is no assurance whether the students are attentive and understanding all what the teacher is saying inductive methods proceeds from specific to general concrete to abstract whereas deductive methods proceed from general to specific from abstract to concrete in demonstration method the teacher performs and experiments or shows the chart models etc in the class and goes on explaining what he does children learn various concepts through playing games teacher has to organize the concept in such a manner that the children learn those concepts informally by playing the game so that learning becomes permanent in project method the teacher provides a situation so that children choose a project from that situation and they plan execute evaluate the project themselves and lastly they prepare a report on the project now we come on discovery method discovery method can be applied where the students have to find out a scientific cause the teacher assign a problem to the students and the students find out the cause by collecting data through putting questions or by going through reference materials then interpreting the data formulating tentative hypothesis and arriving at conclusion some concepts can be taught by following different methods individually and some concept can be taught by the combination of different methods simultaneously in this lecture we discuss about different methods and these different methods help in our teaching learning process thank you